dear students i hope you are all well and studying in your home i hope that you started the new chapter fiber to fabric and in class 6 you already learned about the fibers which are obtained from plants okay you have learned about the wool and silk which are obtained from animals so uh, where wool is obtained it is obtained from fleece or hair of sheep or yak okay and silk fibers come from cocoons of the silk moth so in this chapter you have to answer some questions okay you will be find some answers like that uh, which part body parts of uh, sheep's body make fibers and you have to you will be aware how these fibers are converted into woolen yarns yarns that we buy from the market to knit sweaters okay so first of all we have to read about the animal fibers wool and silk wool comes from sheep goat yak and some other animals these wool yielding animals bear hair on their body do you know why these animals have a thick coat of hair hair trap a lot of air air is a poor conductor of heat as you would learn in chapter 4 so hair keeps these animals warm wool is derived from these hairy ha these hairy fibers so you can understand after this paragraph that why these uh, sheep have that much amount of uh, feathery hairs on its body okay as you know that these sheep goats mainly uh, or yak found in the uh, climate where the climate is very cold okay in cold climate situation they are found or places okay so as we know that air is poor conductor of heat so that's why it uh, these hairs are keep them warm now we have to do activity also feel the hair on your body and arms and those or your head do you find any difference which one seems coarse which one seems which is is soft okay you have to find out that which is coarse and which is soft like us the hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fibers okay that form its fleece the coarse beard hair and the fine soft under hair close to the skin so you can also see easily okay these two type of hairs if you uh, see any sheep or goat okay the coarse beard hair okay which is found in it, its beard and the fine soft under hair close to the skin the fine hair provide the fibers for making wool so these soft uh, under hair of uh, hair which is here, close to the skin these provide fibers for making wool some breeds of sheep possess only fine under hair their parents are especially chosen to give birth to sheep which have only soft under hair this purpose of selecting parents for obtaining special characters in their offspring such as soft under hair in sheep is termed selective breeding so what is honest to select a sheep which is which has only soft under hair not a, a coarse hair like in their bred okay like the, in their beard so you have to uh, understand the term selective breeding sheep with yak growth of hair you can see the figure of sheep also animals that eat wool okay several breeds of sheep are found in different parts of our country however the fleece of sheep is not the only source of wool though wool commonly available in the market is sheep wool yak wool is common in tibet and ladakh okay in tibet and ladakh mainly yak wool is obtained mohair is obtained from angora goats found in hilly regions such as jammu and kashmir so this is also an interesting question can become that mohair is obtained from angora goat and these are found in hilly regions of jammu and kashmir 
wool is also obtained from goat hair uh, figure you can see uh, 3.4 okay these are the angora goat and this is goat you easily see in uh, mountains also found these goats okay the under fur of kashmiri goat is soft it is woven into fine shawls called pasmina shawls the under fur of kashmiri goat is very soft and the shawls made by these uh, is known as pashmina shawls the fur or hair on the body of camels is also used as wool lalma and alpaca found in south america also yield wool okay so you can see their figure also this is camel and you can see the south american species these two these also help in obtaining wool now the next activity collect pictures of animals whose hair is used as wool stick them in your scrapbook okay scrapbook if you are unable to get pictures try and draw them from the ones given in this book okay so this activity you have to do okay find out words of words for sheep goat camel and yak in your local language okay in other languages of our country now we read that how fibers converted into wool from fibers to wool for obtaining wool sheep are reared their hair is cut and processed into wool let us learn about this process rearing and breeding of sheep if you travel to hills in jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttaranchal now is called uttarakhand arunachal pradesh and sikkim or the plains of haryana punjab rajasthan and gujarat you can see shepherd taking their herds of sheep for grazing sheep are herbivores and prefer grass and leaves apart from grazing sheep rears rearers also feed them on a mixture of pulses corn jowar oil cakes material left after taking out soil from seeds is known as oil cakes and minerals in winter sheep are kept indoors and fed on leaves grain and dry fodder sheep are reared in many parts of our country for wool okay three table 3.1 gives the names of some breeds of sheep reared in our country for producing wool the quality and texture of, of the fibers are obtained from them is also indicated in the table certain breeds of sheep have thick coat of hair on their body which yields good quality of wool in large quantities first we see the table then we move ahead some indian breeds of sheep okay these are lohi rampur busher nali bakhrawal marwadi okay patanwadi okay there are different names in different regions and their quality of wool this is good quality wool brown fleece carpet wool for woolen shawls coarse wool for hosiery okay and stair state where these uh, breeds species are found rajasthan punjab for lohi okay like that uttar pradesh himachal rajasthan jammu and kashmir and gujarat as mentioned earlier these sheep are selectively bred which with one parent being a sheep of good breed once the reared sheep have developed a thick brown hair or thick growth of hair hair is saved off for getting wool okay so rearing means to look after the sheep of good breed okay and just make them uh, to match to be mature and be ready to be uh, getting wool processing fibers into wool the wool which is used for knitting sweaters or weaving shawls is the finished product of of a long process okay which involves the following steps 
First step is the fleece of sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from its body. This process is called shearing. Okay. First the fleece of sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed which is known as shearing. Machines similar to those of by barbers are used to save off hair. Usually hair are removed during the hot weather. This enables sheep to survive without their protective coat of hair. The hair provide woolen fibers. Woolen fibers are then processed to obtain woolen yarn. Shearing does not hurt the sheep just as it does not hurt when you get a haircut or your father saves his bread. Okay, beard, sorry. Do you know why? The uppermost layer of skin is death. Also, the hair of sheep grow again just as you, your hair touch. Okay. In second step, the shared skin with hair is thoroughly washed in tanks to remove grease, dust and dirt. This is called scoring. Okay. Nowadays, scoring is done by machines. Okay. Now we uh, see figure in the last uh, when we complete these steps. Then in Step third, after scoring, sorting is done. The hairy skin is sent to a factory where hairs of different textures are separated or sorted. The small fluffy fibers called burrs are picked out from the hair. These are the same burrs which sometimes appear on your sweaters. Next step is the fibers can be dyed in various colors as the natural fleece of sheep and goats is black, brown or white. The fibers are straightened, combed and rolled into yarn. The longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters and the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen clothes. Okay. So these are the processes in which first you see easily that shearing a sheep. Okay. Hairs on its hair, uh, on its body and it will be removed by machines okay then scoring in tanks in tanks these hairs which we collected we did uh, just uh, to remove dirt from it we do scoring and then scorting scorting by machines to just steal these fibers and rolling into yarn done this okay so the process of fibers into wool can be represented as follows first searing then scoring then sorting then cleaning of burns or tying, then rolling. So these are the steps of processing of fibers. I hope you understand till here. If you find any difficulty, you can ask. Okay. Now we move to the next uh, topic in next class. Okay. Thank you.